the inspiration for these proofs. Now, where where do they come from? They're they're so diverse in yeah. their um their imagery. Uh, honestly, it I just kind of I don't plan any of them really. Mm -hmm. I just uh because I spend so much time you know planning everything else that I do in in art. So I always I wanted to use the proofs as a way to just fully express without any plan usually going in like sometimes i'll like i'll think for a little bit about it um of maybe what i want to do sometimes i take usually the imagery that's on the card itself like the actual card and then just play with the theme or maybe the the plane that it's set in or something like that something associated with it but most of the time i just go in and just just see what happens i just start making lines scratches or just start putting paint down and then be like oh yeah that's i like that shape let's see let's see what happens with that and that's pretty much what has been for these uh yeah yeah that's pretty much how it's been well what's interesting is i do well, at least i was trying to go through your other artwork and see if i could find some sort of parallels because uh, especially um, the the two female um, characters that you have done, they seem to be from like a very defined place. And obviously that could just be your talent as an artist, but was there any sort of connection to them in any past pieces? Uh, no, I mean, one of them, the, the one with the, with like the frill, hat or well, the frill like a uh, collar mm -hmm. that one was from um strict haven so i took like a, i remember like the instructors i remember a little bit um from the the style guide from that and then i used that um as like an inspiration for that particular proof but for the other one no it was just they didn't come from anything i just was trying to figure out what I was going to do. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll just do like a, a head. And then <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, yeah. All right. So, because there wasn't, I didn't know what gender it was going to be. So I was just like, well, it looks like a woman's head. So I guess I'll go with that. And then for some reason, it turned into like a, I wanted to put like something, have her have like some sort of body and maybe clothing or something. So I was like, oh, maybe you put like an armor collar or something like that and as it, it just happens like that it is yeah those two pieces didn't really have anything or really any of them don't really have really any grounded connection to anything else other than just random thoughts that go on in my head i guess so you randomly have these uh burning skulls and you have these hulking figures with the pl the plated armor that swirling yeah. around. Yeah, it just yeah, they just dance around. Like a lot of it sometimes because I well in my in my studio, you know, I have a couple skulls, and for the skull one in particular, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for for that particular one, and I was looking, I was just glancing around, and I saw the the skull on uh on a shelf, and I was like. I guess I'll draw a skull. So then I just, you know, just drew the skull. And then whatever shapes came out of that after the skull was put in place, I kind of just went with that. Right. They sort of um, kind of, it, it could be like a Rorschach where it could be determining what you think you see and versus what, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it, it, exactly. And then like for some of the other things, um, like... The one with the the figure with the moon in the background and stuff like that. Yeah. Like that one, things like that usually come from my Frazetta roots um, because he's, he was my first and usually what I consider like my art foundation. So mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of the times I default when I'm thinking of things or if it's like a random occurrence or random thoughts a lot of the times those images are the things that come to my mind first so i usually just dive in on those 
there is something sort of, um, I guess, I mean, I feel spiritual about the one piece. I mean, cause it's, I, it's looks like it's an, it's an orc orc type, uh, character that is an, sort of wandering, but looking now. And that's interesting. You said it was the moon because I saw it as the sun, but I guess now that with the sun, oh, yeah, it, could be, yeah, it could be the sun too. But there yeah. is some sort of like, um, uh, I don't know, not obviously n- not directly, but I, I feel sort of like a three wise men, except one wise man kind of feel like he's following this, this star or the, this reflection of a star. There's something mm-hmm. peaceful about it in this warrior like moment. Yeah. Hey, that's the cool part about it. You know, that's why I usually don't like to talk about what it is that I'm thinking when I make pieces, because I always want to keep that to the to the viewer itself. And like what they think about the piece is to me more important than what I think about the piece, because eventually I won't be here for any of these things to explain it. So. To me, it's like, well, whatever everybody else says about the piece, well, then that's just what it is about the piece, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I agree with you. I also do. I come from the the whole, and you know me, the whole, where I believe that people can, there is a space for an artist to say, this is my intention, but then for the audience member to say, oh, you have it completely wrong. That's not what it is at all. And that you can be open to that. But um, was there... What was this like now? These were like, these were the first artist proofs that you really ever um, like did ever. Mm -hmm. Um, What were some of the like, uh, like trials and tribulations and what were some of the successes that you found doing them for the first time? How did it Uh, go? Well, the main thing uh, was the actual getting used to the, the quality of the paper itself is really weird. Is a, especially when you're drawing, not so much when you're painting on it, but when you draw on it with pencil or something, like it's like waxy a little bit. So it doesn't actually mm. grip. The pencil doesn't actually grip onto it. I might. So I had some trouble with that initially. And then usually trying to get darker passages, especially with pencil, tends to be kind of hard. Uh, at least for me, it is. So uh, I might experiment a little bit more on that. Uh, but painting on it was actually quite fun. Um, you gesso it, of course. So maybe, maybe I'll actually gesso all of them and then try to draw on that and see if that helps with it or anything with how it, you know, catches the, the graphite. But yeah, the painting on it was actually quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. How, how so? I mean, because you had more, I guess you just had more uh, freedom to just go b- buck wild or what? Yeah. Yeah. So yes, because there's no restriction on it, I can kind of just make what I want. That helps. And then on top of that, you know, allows me to experiment a little bit with um, messing with different mediums and stuff like that. Uh, and so, yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty much, the fact that it just allows me to not be bogged down by, oh, you got to render this thing religiously, make it look like how it's supposed to look and everything like that. Cause you get, you know, you do that all day long anyway. So, you know, the artist proof allows me to, to loosen up a bit. Cause I'm not, I haven't been really loose with a lot of my work for years now. So, you know, it, it's, it's a nice change of pace. It's actually astonishing to like to see the difference between you uh like when I first spoke to you versus now the the professional side of yourself has really come out and you're you're yeah. very you're very like you're, you're just a you're much more um I don't I don't want to say you weren't disciplined before but you're like you're in you're in the mix now and I yeah. can see how that the freedom would be good for you just to have fun you know mm mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And um, speaking of, what's it like that you're going to be a a, a speaker now? All of a sudden, uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that was that was a surprise. Uh, a, a great honor. I'm I'm really appreciative to to Jeff Maricola to for inviting me to to do the guest artist uh, as one of the guest artists at the at the workshop. Uh, yeah, I I'm excited about it. You know, did you, I'm, I'm, 
Did you uh, think like a year ago when if somebody be like, by the way, you're going to be a uh, guest of honor, you're going to be a guest speaker? No. <laughs> no. Like, I didn't think. I mean, I figured that I would eventually, you know, after I had like, you know, some years in the game, maybe like five, three to five years into the thing, you know, I figured then, you know, I'd be asked to do things like that. But, you know, pretty much my first full year of doing this, you know, full time, you know, like I was, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I'm very honored that people think so highly of my stuff. Well, your stuff's good. I mean, it's, that's, that's the, that's the only thing I can say is that, you know, you, 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 you can bring, you can bring it to the, to the plate and that's awesome. So, um, well, I thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me briefly today about the uh, wonderful proofs that you have for the channel. And we, we super appreciate it and, uh, keep on doing what you're doing. And, um, I'm sure I will be bothering you in the future. No, <laughs> appreciate that, Eric. Bye-bye.